guys, it's Ella. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be giving my snake cages a makeover. The only reason why I'm not in my room, like where my snake cages are, is because over here is good lighting and I'm going to do the intro right here and we'll like bloomer into there. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified every single time I post. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in there and I'll give you guys like the haul of like the things I bought. So let's go. Okay, so right here are my two snake cages and they're very bland. Like they have everything what the snakes need, but I never really added like a bunch of decorations. I added like a few here and there, but that's basically it. So I went to PetSmart and I got a bunch of things for my snake cages and I'm kind of be redoing them. I'm adding different bedding. This is my cat, hi cutie. So I'm gonna show you guys everything we got at PetSmart. The first thing that I got is this coconut. I don't really know why, but I thought it was kind of cute because I can pit it. I I know where I'm going to pit it, but I'm not going to tell you guys yet because it's going to be a surprise. For the thumbnail, I was going to like hold the PetSmart bag, but it like fell apart. So the next thing I got was for my sand boa. So for my little snake, they don't need as big as a uh, water bowl. The only thing they need, I think if the whole snake can like sit in its water bowl, then it's big enough. So I have a two set. I didn't know it came in a set, but it did. So I have two kind of like medium ones almost. And that one's for my sand bow. My sand bow is a baby. I don't know when it's gonna grow, but yeah, ow. Then I got very big bowls for my a ball python. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, I've had my ball python on for like four years four in the five-ish years i think maybe like four and then we've had this snake for maybe like a year and a half maybe two if you guys are wanting a snake yourself please do not buy snakes from pet co or pet smart trust me it will die in maybe like a few months longest you'll have it is like a year they will die <laughs> i mean like not all snakes from there will probably die like if you're like really like trained with like animals they'll probably not die anyway buy your snakes from a breeder or a pet convention we got my sand boa from a pet convention and we got this snake from a breeder oh there's my snake if you guys are wondering where to find conventions and where to find breeders, you can literally find breeders anywhere. There's a bunch of snake websites. We found this breeder actually on Craigslist. Literally, we went on Craigslist. He was like selling ball pythons and he was a breeder and we met up with him and he just gave us a snake. And then this one, we went to this convention. We found it online and there was, no, we found, we actually saw a banner for it and there was a convention, a snake convention. And that's where we got this little snake so i got this bowl and then this bowl and then the coconut then the next thing i got ooh, is calcium sand or just sand for snakes and lizards and things like that my snake is a sand boa so they like to go in sand so like a quarter of the cage can be sand and then the rest would be the bedding i got a new bedding because this bedding the bedding they have right now is not the best it's kind of like that wood chip that wood chip type of bedding and I thought this one would be better. This one is just like all like flakes and stuff like that. It's just like the Aspen snake bedding. To add a little just decoration, I got this medium hanging terrarium. And you know, I got this fake plant because I thought just, you know, add a little, you know. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do spirals cage first because it's just what I'm gonna do. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take off all the stuff that's on top of their cage and then bring the cage down. And I'm gonna put Spyro inside this little container for now because he will slither away. I have this trash bag because his old bedding, I need to put all of the, his old bedding inside here and then I'll add in the new bedding. So first I need to take down his cage. Oh my God. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Y'all. 
I pressed, I forgot to press the record button. Okay, basically what I did, I took out all of Spyro's things. I was literally talking to myself. I took out all of Spyro's things because I'm start with, gonna start with Spyro's cage first. And here is Spyro, he's in his container. I'm gonna move him down there and then I'm gonna take all the bedding out into my trash bag. So here is my snake Spyro. He is super tiny. I don't even know when these things grow. It's like, what the heck, okay. But here he is. They kind of have like a little cone head, which is like cute. If you're wondering why I'm so red is because I was like out in the sun all day, so. Okay, now I'm gonna somehow get that cage down here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna figure it out, okay? okay. So I have this heating pad for Spyro and I literally like took off the glass and it was so hot and it, this thing gets really hot. It Right now it was at, let's see what it was at. It was at, Almost like 80, what does that say? I need to take it out anyways. It was at like, it was actually a little high. I could have lowered that a little bit, but it was pretty high. Oh look, I found skin, great. <laughs> it's because I probably like never picked that thing up, but now we need to clean all this stuff out. See, this wood chip isn't the best for snakes because it's just like prickly. I think that soft aspen is just a little better. get a vacuum and like scoop that all up. That'll be much easier. Cause I've been like doing this. Oh, only for five minutes. Spyro, you're escaping again. Okay, I need to take him with me. Okay, my dad is gonna bring it because um I can't bring it down the stairs. Their faces are like so freaking weird. Like it's not even a snake face. <laughs> if you guys are afraid of snakes, they're not that scary. The plan is like a quarter of it, I won't put quarter of it I want to be sand and then like the other half I want it to just be the bedding so you can have like you know options we should put in the bedding first actually so like this is what I'm looking at what it's looking like I'm just breaking it up as I go and then pouring it into this side Okay, let's see how that's looking. Let me let me just take a look. Let me put this down so you guys can like see what I'm doing. Okay, so I need to push half of it over here. He's gonna have lots of room to borrow. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare finding him. Oh my god. God, that's not the same I have. Oh, whoa, whoa, that came out. Much faster. And every now and then I'm gonna take a duster, like, you know those cat litter things, and I'm gonna go through it. Because you can't really like spot check sand, like you can do with like bedding. I think that's good. There can be like a little extra on top and then the sand is down below. So I'm gonna put the coconut in the sand because like, you know, the beach. And I think I'm gonna put it like, just like right in there like that. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna put its water bowl, its spirals water bowl on the other side. So I have it right here and I need to like cut it. Ooh. I'll just put that in here and I'll add water later. And that will go right there. I need to break this up a little bit. Okay, that will go right there. And his water bowl and his coconut will be inside. But first, we're gonna add some moss in 
to Spyro's cage. Let me like tilt this down a little bit so you guys can like see what I'm doing. Ah. And I'm just gonna take some moss. If you don't know, you need moss. Like you guys probably already know this and you're like, shut up, but some people don't. You need moss so it, um, what is it called? Yeah, it holds moisture in the cage and then, oh, I'm gonna scrunch it up and I'm just gonna put it right there. Like right there, that's good. Oh, I got moss in the sand. And now I need to put this cage back up on his like heating pad because the heating pad's still hot, so. This is his cage, the like this part, the not the sand, the bedding is a little higher, but it's okay. So I have his coconut right there, I have his moss, and then I have his water bowl dish, and I'm gonna fill this up, just like not right now. So now I'm not gonna take Asho's cage like all the way down, all the way down, cause that's not needed. I'm just going to change out his water bowl and um, add in that little big plant. Okay, this is the best angle I can get, but I'm gonna work over there. And I need to take down, oh, this thing. I only have it down there. So Astro, cause he can lift this thing up. He's freaking strong, bro. Okay, we are gonna pit, I don't know what that like, weird thing is over there, but we are gonna put Spyro inside his cage and I'm gonna put him in the sand in his coconut. Okay, go in. <gasps> oh. Oh my god, that's so cool. What happens if it touches you? And I'm also gonna take a vacuum and clean up in here because you always need to like fully clean your snake's case. Ah, frick. Boom. Now what we're gonna pit paper towels inside his enclosure. Enclosure, and I'm just gonna use like these. Like, it doesn't need to be fancy for good paper towels, like, just any paper towel will do. It's so easy to clean their cage, like, paper towels, get them down, and you're done. Perfect for you. So, I need to unbox um, Astro's uh, new uh, water dish. Wait, I should probably like take it out and like fill them up first. Actually, no. I'm gonna take both of their water bowls and go fill them up in the sink and I'll be right back. Oh, I did it. Kinda, I spilled like all the water down there, but I did it. So then he, uh, Astro already had this little thing that he like sleeps in. Then I keep this wood thing inside there for him to climb on. So I did used to have one of these inside there, but he'd go inside like the little holes and then he literally got stuck. I thought he was lost, but he was just sitting in here for literally like a whole day. I'm just like, okay. But Astro is not big enough, I mean small enough to do that. So I keep that in there. Then I'm gonna go in with this little plant. I wish I bought two of them because that little, that would add a lot to the spiral's cage and Astro's cage, but it's okay. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so adorable. Adorable. So guys, here is the final reveal. Here is Astro's cage. First, I'll show him. So he has his paper towels. I don't like using bedding for ball pythons. He has his little rock, and this is the heated side. And then this is a little thing he can climb on. His water bowl, it's super big. Like, this is the size of my hand. And then I have this little hanging plant. Then that's my, um, this is another bowl. That's a theometer. I need to put this back in there so I can, like, know shimmy genie you know and his heating bath actually goes like all the way to there which is nice then spiral's cage he has his little water bowl he has his moss i would put some moss in there but astro literally destroys it i'm gonna probably put some in there later i have his little moss i have his water bowl that is filled up and then i have his sand and astro spyro is somewhere in there and then I have his little coconut. That is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys like the snake cages. Comment down below if you guys have any constructive criticism for me, things I can add and stuff like that. Trust me, be as harsh as you want. I really want the help. 
just to like make my snake lives the best lives they can have make sure to click that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you guys can be notified every single time i post give this video a big thumbs up and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day weekend afternoon morning and night and yeah bye guys <laughs>